I think suspension electric unicycles are here to stay. Today we're checking out the Bagode T4, a 16 inch suspension EUC. What's up guys, Jimmy Chang here with Andrew. We're here at the Rivian Service Center because I needed to get a little work done on my truck. But while we're waiting for that to get done, we're gonna go over this Bagode T4. Super fun, lightweight suspension wheel. Not quite as light as the S18, but definitely on the lighter side. 16 inch wheel, 12 inch rim. 100 volt system and 1800 watt hours. Now I'm riding the S18, brought it out just because it's a fun little wheel. So this is an 18 inch suspension wheel as opposed to the 16 inch suspension wheel. And I do like being here in the Rivian uh, parking lot because when we film in other parking lots and cars drive by, you can totally hear the road noise. But here these things are like ninjas driving by. To me, this looks like a mini master, but there are some differences. Let's start from top to bottom on this EUC. At the top, we have this trolley handle. It's a spring action. This is the handle that you can use to lift it up. But it doesn't activate a kill switch. Correct, though. that's not a kill switch. Yeah, so you use this as a handle, but you still have to press the button to kill it. Comparing it to the S18, if I engage, if I lift this up, that activates my kill switch. Now, if we go all the way up, that's the, that's the one thing that I noticed right there. So the master trolley handle is really low. Um, and I'm not very tall, I'm like 5'10", and uh, it still feels low for me. But you can see that's, that's a pretty significant height difference. I wish it was a little bit taller. It rattles a little bit more when you, and these jut out a little bit. Yeah, you got those screws. You also have little tiny screws that are going up into the plastic. You'll go to pop this off. It doesn't quite fully pull out and then it just shears the screw out of the plastic. So I would like them to improve on this design. Under the handle is where you have your charge ports and it's dual charge ports right inside. So this is where I think you're gonna have the most vulnerability with the trolley handle is you have to lift up the trolley handle to charge it. There's no kickstand. If this falls over and lands on the trolley handle, you can end up snapping it off. This is the display screen. Let's continue on with the light. 6,000 lumens, should be able to adjust up and down. Screws there, that's where you use to adjust it. The lights themselves, they're the same as the master, so they're not very good. You can pivot it a little bit. And as you saw in when we crashed the master, um, this is kind of a weak point. And so I would have liked to have some sort of bumper or something protecting this face. When you come around here on the side, just like on the master, you have some exposed wires. You can see how they've uh, tried to make this a little bit more water resistant. Um, but you have these little wires that are coming across. It's not a super clean look for me and these wires come down here for the lights. And so let's talk about these lights. The Achilles heel on the master was it used to have the light back here and that was a really weak point that would break. Now they've changed the light, they've moved it away from this heel of the seat to these vertically oriented lights that are blue. And they look good, and they're bright, and they look more protected than before. Um, the only kind of exposure is you do have these wires that come across externally. The suspension here looks a lot like uh, the Master, and we've been testing it though. It's higher quality. We haven't been bottoming it out as easily, and we're gonna go take this for a test, test run to show you. The fender was yet another Achilles tendon of the Master, and we'll see how long this lasts. Right behind here is something that they just started introducing. I guess they call it a cushion pad. It helps a lot with the suspension, so there's not as much clinking, and it also helps preventing this from bottoming out. And there's four total. So there's going to be one here, one down there, and then two on the other side as well. Okay. Same thing with the pads. They're not the strongest, so definitely be careful. I shouldn't have ripped it so hard. The pad material, they have not changed. It's the same material used on the Master, the same, it's, it's not very durable. It's soft, but it's not very strong. This wheel comes to us from Yuko. Thank you, Yuko, for sending this to us to test. They've lined the side with Velcro, which is actually really nice because everyone's pad preference is a little bit different. And uh, you know, when I got it from Yuko, I, I just 
jumped on it right away using the pads as they had it set up and it just didn't feel comfortable. So we had to adjust it with the Velcro. That's really easy to do. The tire profile is much better than I've seen on other tires. Um, you know, the CST knobby tires, they're nice for off-roading, but they track. Where this is a CST tire, it's more of a street profile, so it's a lot more rounded. It does have enough tread so you can take it off-roading, but there's no tracking at all with this EUC. For a while there, a lot of the EUCs were coming with really knobby, aggressive tires for off-roading which is great for those that love to off-road, but I'd say for most of the riding, they're riding on streets and roads and maybe doing some light off-roading. And uh, so something like this, where it's in between and then more geared towards street, I think that's something that I prefer. And then you have these pedals here that are, they work well. Um, you can adjust the angle of it. You can also adjust if they are going to be more rigid, opening them up and closing them but I wish they would have used spiked pedals on here. All right, so apparently the pedals on the T4 will be the same pedals on the M104. And so here's the M104, and this is what the pedals will look like. Hexagonal, they're not spiked. They're more of a, um, I don't know, little bumps. If you guys are interested in the M104, we'll be doing a video on this soon. This is also provided to us by Yuko. And uh, this is just to give you an idea of the pedals that will be coming on the T4. So there's no stand in this now, which is kind of disappointing to me, especially I use these EUCs a lot to ride and stop. I'm stopping frequently. I prefer to have a kickstand instead of having to just lay it down on the ground like that. So we're gonna go rip around on this. And while we ride, we're gonna give you our thoughts on how the ride feels. Smooth as butter. So we've got this pumped up to about 200 PSI. For this wheel, it came with actually a pretty quality suspension pump. I was, I was happy with that. This is one of my favorite suspension wheels, especially for a Bagode wheel. I wasn't a big fan of the Hero or the Master, but the suspension on this works very nice. It just actually can support my 200 pound body. We've tried other Masters with upgraded suspension and those were good, but the stock suspension on the Master and the Hero, I was just not a big fan of and would easily bottom out no matter what PSI I had the shock at. And you're comparing a 16 inch wheel to, uh, what were those, like 20 and 22 inch wheels? Yeah. So uh, how does that differ? What's the feel, difference in feel with the 16 inch wheel? Surprisingly for me, it's not as big of a difference as I thought it was gonna be. I thought I always like bigger wheels normally because I'm heavier and I know it's because of the suspension. If the suspension was garbage, I think I would be able to tell a lot more that it's a smaller wheel. We're going to switch up and then I'm going to give it a little spin and get you my take on this wheel. It's, it is like a baby master. It feels, it's very smooth and uh, we'll have to go test that suspension somewhere. Still climbing. Smooth. I do like the suspension much better than on uh, the, the Master, at least the original Master that we reviewed. It feels, it feels really nice. The acceleration is good, it's zippy. It's what you expect for a 16 inch wheel with this much power. I'm a big fan of the 16 inch wheel. My first ever EUC was a Kingsong 16S. Love that wheel. I think 16 in inches is perfect. It's not too big, it's not too small, it's nimble. Uh, one of my other favorite wheels was the Inmotion V12. This is the first 16 inch wheel with suspension and so far I'd say this suspension is really good. Uh, some of these other suspension wheels are just getting really big and that's fine if you like big wheels but you know getting these things in and out of your trunk up and down stairs it's it's cumbersome. The acceleration curve on the T4 is awesome. For me if you're looking at the S18 but you have an extra 300 bucks, you should definitely get the T4. My comparison would be with the Master uh, or with the Hero. This suspension is way better than those. Um, whatever they did to fix it, it's fixed. As far as this wheel goes, it's much wider, all right? So if you're coming from the S18, realize that the S18 is very narrow. It's very slim. This is a lot wider. And that's kind of the Bigotti design now. The Bigotti design has kind of this this very, uh, it's a top heavy wheel. We're gonna go test the suspension some more. We're gonna go find some rough terrain and some, uh, some stairs to give this a go.
because it's 16 inches, it does feel more playful. Right, so my stance is wider, but uh, it's a smaller wheel, so it, it feels more playful when I'm doing stuff like this. It just feels fun. On the Sherman, while it has a big, powerful motor and a big wheel, um, it, I just feel like if I'm not positioned right, if I'm not bending my knees, and if I'm not just 100% focused on the ride, then I'm gonna get bucked off if I hit a little hole. But on this, I feel like I'm able to just enjoy the scenery, enjoy the beautiful lake, because the suspension is more forgiving, especially when going fast on uneven terrain. I don't have to concentrate as much. Um, maybe that leads to more sloppy and lazy riding, but for me, it's more enjoyable. Uh, yeah, this is just a playful wheel with the suspension and with the power. I just, I feel more confident and I'm able to glide over those things going off-road. One of the things about these 16 inch wheels is you have a smaller wheel, but powerful motor, you have more torque. As opposed to if you had the same size motor, but on an 18 or a 20 or a 22 inch uh, diameter wheel, you're gonna have a lot less torque. Let's see uh, how it feels. The acceleration's great on this. Um... It's not quite as fast as the Master, but it's much better than like the Kingsong S22. The S22 has this lag when you go to start, so I would much prefer this over the S22 acceleration curve. One thing I have noticed about this wheel is it does shake a little bit when you're trying to do a super hard stop for like an emergency stop. So I don't know about your guys' city, but in our city we've got some decent roads, but we also have some bad roads. Just with the snow and ice, you get potholes that develop like this. Beautiful thing about suspension is it helps to soften out those potholes. That on a no suspension wheel is jarring. So I do love suspension. You can ride right over those potholes with no issues at all. Not just jarring, but sometimes unsafe, especially if you're not paying attention and you come across a pothole just like that and you hit that, that could cause you to lose your balance. Speed wobbles and let's say you hit one pothole and then you hit the next pothole before you have a chance to recover and that could be devastating. The beautiful thing about suspension is it helps to uh, make up for those mistakes or uh, sloppy riding because on an electric unicycle you got to make sure that you're always on point with your riding because any little thing can throw you off whether it's a gust of wind or a pothole. The Bagode T4 it's a silent wheel. The motor does not feel like it's working too hard or it's stressing out or we're pushing it to the limit. It's just really quiet. Where the King Song has this groaning motor sound to the S18 and the S22, the Bagode T4 is near silent, also dropping off curbs. A lot of these wheels that are suspension wheels, when you drop off curbs, you hear a lot of creaking, cracking. The T4, it sounds really nice dropping curbs. This thing just eats stairs and hills. Climbing this hill is no problem at all. Normally on wheels, because I'm 200 pounds, climbing up this steep of a hill, you hear this motor groaning noise. This is like silent. All right, we've had a great day riding the Bago T4. Uh, final impressions, Andrew? I like it. It's definitely a suspension wheel you want to check out. I will say with all these EUCs that have been coming out, it's just been so hard to keep track of them. And it's just been, honestly, for me, hard to get excited for these new wheels. But now that we have the T4 here and I've had the chance to experience it, I think this is a pretty darn good wheel. One other positive to this wheel is you have a seat when you're waiting for some food. Jimmy went to go sit on the S18 and then he's like, yeah, it's not very comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> not, not nearly as comfortable. Oh yeah, good fruit. That's the one. That's the one. Tacos el bueno. All right, yes. Stop by for some quick tacos on our way to pick up my truck. We earned it today. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. When you guys ride, wear your safety gear.